Finally, a place to sit. Ugh, thank God. I was beginning to think I'd have to stand for the whole trip. Huh? Oh. Hi there. I honestly thought there was no one in this row. You're so short, I almost didn't notice you. <laughs> we have math class together, right? I'm Rez. You recognize me? So what? I don't care who was here first. This is like the only free seat on the whole bus. Well, besides the popular kids, but I honestly don't feel like listening to them the entire bus ride. The camp's almost three hours away. I go insane with all the blabbering and giggling going on. Plus, I definitely want to avoid seeing Tyler and his new cheerleader girlfriend swap and spit. <laughs> but you, short stuff, you don't take up much space on this bench. And judging by how you act in class, you won't chew my ear off. You barely speak anyway. Wins all around. Now, time for some music. What? I won't move. You don't own this bus. Hey, what are you doing? Stop pushing my leg. Jeez. Maybe I misjudged you. You really are fucking annoying. I've got long legs. I can't help but take up more space. Besides, not like you'd need it anyway. Look, your knee barely reaches here. I bet your feet aren't even touching the floor right now. Yeah, yeah, whatever, smarty pants. I won't put my legs in the aisle, because if I know anything about these idiots, some little trip over my feet, and with my track record, they'd probably assume I did on purpose. One more incident this year, and I'm done for. I get expelled, and my dad most likely kicked me out of the house. So, no thank you. I choose life. And now, if you could stop bothering me until we arrive, I'd really appreciate it. Otherwise, I'm gonna have to make you stand in the aisle. You don't want that, do you? Right. I'll make you a deal, okay? I'll let you listen to my music, and you stop being annoyed if you can manage. Here's my yearbook. Catch. Wow. Okay. Didn't actually think you'd catch it. Whatever. Be quiet now, nerd. Alright, let's see. Bow, two arrows, water bottle, phone. Oh, I guess I didn't ask for my earbud back. Who's that little nerd anyway? I haven't seen them since I, we got off the bus. Hope they didn't get eaten by a bear or something. Whatever. I'm sure I'll see them later. Now, I think I've stalled long enough for everyone to partner up, and jackpot. I'm the only one left. No one to bother me while I pretend to do this stupid archery thing. Huh? What was that, Teach? I'm the only one left. Sorry. I guess I'll just do it by myself. Behind me? What the? There's no one even here. Oh, fuck. Didn't see their short stuff. Sorry, I kind of wasn't expecting to run into Tinkerbell. Is there no high requirement for this sort of thing? Someone could confuse you for a rabbit or something. Eh, stop complaining giving my earbud back. I was nice enough to let you borrow it for the bus ride, but don't you think I'll let you have it for the whole trip? I saved up for them for half a year. And you better not tell me you lost it. You don't have it? I... Oh, yeah, I guess you would have put it in your backpack. But aren't you supposed to have it on you? What, forgot your stuff at the cabin? Not quite. What's that supposed to mean? You better give it back by tonight, got it? I'll need it before curfew. Now, I hope that settles it. I've got some arrows to shoot. Bye-bye, short stuff. <sighs> Can't you partner up with anyone else? I kind of wanted to do this by myself, so if you just kindly... All right, all right, I get it. Mr. Control Freak told you to group up with me. Stop bickering. He's looking in our direction. 
like I told you what will happen if I get in trouble again. And if you're to blame, I won't let you forget it. <clears throat> okay, so, um, you got your bow? All right, let's go then. Try to keep up with me, short legs. Let's take a left here. I'm well aware of the signs point the other way, but I don't feel like waiting for targets to open up all day. That's gonna take forever. Oh, come on. Do you really think anyone in our class will hit anything even remotely related to a target? No. They'll all be searching for their arrows somewhere in the bushes. Let's just hang out somewhere else instead, and then we'll go back to camp. It'll be like we never left the trail. Besides, the sign says there's a stream somewhere along this path. And I don't know about you, but I'd like to cool off a bit. It's way too hot today. Oh, come on. No one's gonna find out. It's a freaking forest. They're not gonna know. We can't split up. If the teachers see you by yourself, they'll know I skipped the stupid activity. Now move before I have to drag you with me. Besides, why are you acting like a goody two shoes all of a sudden? I don't remember seeing you at all since we arrived at camp, so why the sudden interest? I didn't see you at assembly, not at lunch, and not even at the weird art activity. I thought you'd like that kind of stuff. I see you draw in class all the fucking time. So what? It's kind of hard to miss it. You're sitting right next to me since Miss Rodriguez made me swap seats. I know you're trying to be all secretive about your doodles, but it's not really working. It's honestly kind of cute. But nah, seriously, tell me, where were you? Oh, come on, are you embarrassed, short stuff? Did you sneak up to go make out with your crust? Mm -hmm. Then why would you be embarrassed? You can tell me. I promise, I won't say anything. I'm not the gossipy kid. Hmm. Bluff blonde dude. Fuck, you mean Tyler? Was he bothering you or something? Uh-huh. So, like, right after we got off the bus? <laughs> Dude, what? Oh my god, this is pure gold. Oh, <laughs> I can't believe you call him out like that in front of the cheerleaders. Oh, jeez. I didn't think you had it in you, short stuff. I, honestly, I'm impressed. <laughs> Maybe we'll get along after all. Because honestly, that's pretty badass. Oh. <sighs> Surprised yourself, huh? Yeah, I didn't think you were usually that confident. Spur of the moment kind of deal, wasn't it? Cool, but that doesn't explain where you were all day. <sighs> the whole time? I can't believe Tyler's boys wouldn't let that go. I didn't think those idiots could remember anything longer than an hour. They actually took your stuff? So they got my earbud. <sighs> well, this just got personal. Now it's not just between you and them. I just hope they didn't throw everything in a puddle yet. <sighs> How the fuck am I supposed to get my stuff back now? I could beat them up easily, but then I'll get in trouble. You know, if they started the whole thing. Nah, short stuff. No need for you to apologize. You can see this coming. We're on the same team from now on. But now, they got someone their own size to deal with. Didn't they go after someone like you? It makes my blood boil. Hmm? I meant nothing by that, really. Just someone like you. A short little nerd. Someone whose brain is their strength rather than their muscles. But I guess Talano Brains and his gang of mindless idiots don't see being smart as something admirable. Oh? Um, I do, I guess. I think you're kinda cool. You don't care what people think about your grades, or wear clothes, no offense. And we're very different, you and me, but we're both weirdos. I'm the big grumpy guy that sits at the back of class just minding his own business. Well, 
as long as Mr. Rodriguez doesn't come into play. And you're a cute little nerd at the front of the class with perfect attendance who'd secretly rather be an artist than study. I like that about you. <laughs> oh, now you're just trying to flatter me. Are you trying to say you're into guys like me? Is this to get me to help you with your backpack? Because I don't need to be bribed, you know. You hear that? That didn't sound like a rat or something. Not to figure out anything, but I kind of don't want to run into any larger animals right now. What is that? Where is that coming from? Shit, watch out! Uh, Tyler! What are you doing? Can't you see there's people here? Look before you shoot, dumbass! Stop laughing, you idiot! You could have fucking killed somebody! God damn it, you know I can fuck you up, man! I will make you regret this! I mm. No. Breathe, Raz. Breathe. It's not worth it. Not yet, at least. Hey, short stuff. Are you okay? Come on. Let's get out of here. Before these dumbasses get any other smart ideas. Although that's very unlikely. Let's go somewhere we can sit down, alright? It's fine. They're cowards. They ran away. Fucking idiots! I don't think any of them actually got decent aim. They could have hit us. That was way too damn close. They get away with a lot, but to risk actual serious injury? They're even stupider than I thought. Are you sure you're okay, short stack? You don't look like you are. You're shaking pretty bad. Wait, did did he hit you? Shit. Where? It cut your shirt, and underneath? Just a little scratch. <sighs> okay, thank God it's nothing worse. You scared me for a second there. I thought you were seriously hurt or something. Hey, hey, shh, shh, shh. You're okay, you're okay, don't cry. You'll be fine. Fuck, um, do you... Want me to hug you, or... Uh, uh, oh, okay. There you go. Shh. It's all good now. I know it was scary. I got scared too, to be honest. I'm sorry I grabbed you like that, by the way. Um, I had no time to think and just reacted. I... If I hadn't... I don't even want to know what might have happened. I'm sorry if I scared you. I swear, I'll teach those guys a lesson. They've been overstepping for quite a while now, but this? I promise you, short stuff. You'll never deal with them again. Now let me wipe those tears. There you go. Look, short stuff. You already made it to the stream. And you see that big rock over there? Looks like the perfect place to sit and enjoy the water. So, let's just take a rest. You're still trembling a bit. You could hold on to my arm if you like. There's quite a lot of roots here. Make sure you don't trip. Watch out for that step. There you go. Alright. Sit down here. Still a bit shaky, huh? Poor thing. Do you want me to put my arm around you? Yeah, it's no problem. There's no need to thank me, Shorty. Of course I saved you from a freaking arrow. I mean, who wouldn't? Oh, for this? You mean for calming you down? <laughs> It's, uh, no big deal. I need this myself, to be honest. 
when they started laughing about it like absolute dumbasses it made me so mad but honestly it would have just caused more trouble for the both of us and I wouldn't want you to get involved in that besides with crazies like them that's way too dangerous I mean you know me I get in a lot of fights but uh they usually don't include bows and arrows I'm more of a fist fight type of guy <laughs> look I know it's hard but just try to forget about those days for now. I'll deal with them later. I'll get your stuff back, and I'll make sure they won't bother you again. I just have to figure out a way that doesn't get me expelled. Oh, and if you ever feel like having a go at Robin Hood again, just come to me afterwards. He'll stay away if he knows what's good for him. Also, tell me beforehand next time. I need front row seats for that kind of show. <laughs> Short stuff versus Tyler. <laughs> Once a lifetime experience. You should sell tickets. Yeah, I wouldn't blame you if you never did it again. By the way, how's your arm? Does it still hurt? Need me to kiss it better? Oh, <laughs> no need to punch me. I'm kidding. I'd rather kiss you somewhere else instead. What? Uh, nah, short stuff. I didn't say anything important. Don't worry about it. Now, um, we're already at this stream, so we may as well get some use out of it, right? Even though it's a little less impressive than I would have hoped for. Come on, take your shoes off. Oh, it'll be fine. Trust me, short stack. I'll get in first. Ah. Uh. Nice and cool. Look, it barely goes up to my ankles. I don't know what that means for you, though, Tinkerbell. You might get your hair wet. <laughs> I'm just teasing. Come on, now get in. Grab my hand. I'll help you. Careful, though. Ground's kind of slippery. Feels good, right? Well, I got you. I told you it was slippery. Careful where you step. Hold on to me if you need to. Got your clothes a bit wet, huh? We should probably get out then, so you can dry before we head back. Sun should take care of that rather quickly. Come on, shorty. There you are, short stuff. Didn't think you'd actually show up. <laughs> oh, I don't think you're a coward or anything. It just didn't seem like you're a fan of breaking the rules is all. Then again, we're not about to do anything illegal. We're just breaking and entering to steal our stuff back. So really, it's not that big of a deal. Of course I still need your help. Even if it's not a big deal. Do you think I'll just run into Tyler's cabin without any planning? Hell no! This needs to be thought out. I don't want to get caught, not by Tyler, not by a squad, and especially not by the teachers. Rez, you know you're not supposed to be in here. That's five years of detention. Ugh. So that's why I need you. Here's my plan. I stand watch by the door. You sneak into the cabin and grab your backpack. I'll let you know if someone's coming. Yes, you. Do you really think I'll do all the hard work by myself? I already came up with the plan, and I made sure to set up a distraction. One of the kids from PE still owes me a favor, so they'll make sure that those idiots don't come back here for another couple minutes. Speaking of which, we should probably get going. I don't know how much time we got. Oh, come on, nerd. It'll be fine. Trust me. They didn't even lock the door. See? So really, they were asking for this. Now, get in here, shorty, and make sure my earbud still in your bag. You find anything yet? Nah, you're still good. I'd hurry if I were you, though. 
Oh, hell yeah. Did you get it? Hey, what are you doing? Isn't that your backpack? What are you still looking for? Ah, shit. I think someone's coming. Come on, we gotta go. There's no time to keep searching. We gotta go. Come on, shorty. Over here. We get out around this corner. <sighs> okay, here. Duck down. They can't see us through the bushes. Let's just... Wait until they're inside. Ah. I don't want it to celebrate too soon, but guess what? We did it. I'd high-five you, but that'd be way too noisy. Sure, a very soft one could work. High-five. Nice one. Do you have my earbud? Ah, good. Thanks. But... May I ask, what were you looking for earlier? Did they take anything else? Oh. I'm sorry that take a bell. I didn't know your sketchbook was in your bag as well. Are you sure it's not in there? <sighs> I'm sorry. That sucks. I can only guess how many hours you must have put into that thing. Tell you what. I'll try to come up with a way to get it back, alright? I don't really know how, though. If Tyler has it, he'll probably not just leave it out in the open. Especially once he finds out the backpack is missing. Speaking of which... We should probably get going before they know us. I think it's clear. Just be sure, though. Let's go this way. So they won't see us. We'll circle back once we're a good bit away. Relax. Got a pretty good sense of direction, you know? I can find my way back no problem. And if you'd like to as well, I suggest you keep up with me. Unless your tiny little legs are tired and you need me to carry you. Ow! Jesus! Stop hitting me already, will you? I'd like to put some distance between us and the cabin before Tyler comes around. He's already had enough of a chance to hurt you yesterday. There's no need for him to beat us up. Or... Hmm, try to, I guess. I can handle him. No doubts there. Shit, I might even enjoy it a little. <laughs> nah, sure stuff. Don't worry. I'll stay out of trouble. Even though I'd love to teach those guys a lesson. <sighs> Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me. Ask her right now, of all times. Should we just turn back? I don't feel like getting sucked. But then Tyler might see us. <sighs> Fuck it. No choice but to power through, right? Let's go, Shorty. What are you doing? I don't think now's the time for you to look for your sketchbook again. We can deal with that later, okay? Huh? Oh, you have an umbrella. By God, short stack, you're amazing. Come on, open it up. Okay, that's better. <laughs> you look so funny holding up so far. It's kind of cute. Here, I'll hold it. No need to strain yourself. Besides, I don't want you to poke my eyes out with this thing. You're still out in the rain, silly. Come on, come a little bit closer. Your umbrella isn't exactly the biggest. Aww, you're turning all red. What, never been this close to a guy like me before? <laughs> sorry, sorry. Jeez, stay here, why don't you? I mean, come on, would you rather get wet than walk next to me? Right, thought so. You know, I thought about what we should do now that we've got our stuff back. Like, obviously they'll notice it's missing and assume you took it back. So I don't think it'd help to hide your backpack anywhere. But I definitely think you should try and stay away from Tyler's group for at least the duration of this trip. That'd probably be for the best. Hey, why are you back there? 
Oh, sorry, short stuff. I didn't realize I was walking so fast. <laughs> Here, um, hold on to my sleeve if you like. That should slow me down a bit. Yeah, sorry again. You're kind of soaked. What is it with you and getting your clothes wet when we hang out? Huh? But, as I was saying earlier, stay away from Tyler. And if he bothers you, come straight to me, okay? He wouldn't dare piss me off again. At least not without using it to his advantage. Best he could do is shoot narrow from far away and run like a coward. Hey, of course I'll still help you. What do you think, I stuck around just to get my shit back? We've already spent so much time sitting next to each other in class. We may as well at least get to know each other, right? Besides, an enemy of Tyler is a friend of mine. I don't know if you heard about this already, but Tyler's the reason I have to avoid even the slightest amount of trouble now. Think I ever used to be friends with that guy? Ugh, crazy how fast people can change. Hmm? Oh, yeah, sorry, you wouldn't know this. Him and I were really close in middle school. I'm not almost every day until he suddenly changed his mind about me. I'm not really sure what happened, but by the time high school came around, we barely spoke anymore. He was too caught up licking the popular kid's boots and chatting up any girl who'd give him the time of day. Eh, don't be sorry, Tinkerbell. I wouldn't want to be friends with him anymore anyway. I mean, don't get me wrong, he's never been a saint, and neither am I, but the way he's been treating people recently has been absolutely fucking disgusting. No thanks. He's been acting out for a long time now, but I usually try to ignore it. Better not to get involved if it doesn't concern me, right? But about two weeks ago, I overheard his boys talking about how Tyler is going to pull a prank on someone who I'd rather seem unharmed. So, I found him. I tried to talk to him about it. Long story short, we got into a fight. I won. Obviously. Tyler's daddy caught wind of it and wasn't too happy. I fucked up his little angel's face. So, he threatened to call the cops and now I have to be a real careful who I decide to mess with. I just hope today won't be the day I get accused of some bullshit again. The one time I actually do a good thing. Oh no, Tinkerbell, you're not gonna take blame for this. It'll be fine. There's no way I'd let you claim my plan if you're here. <laughs> nah, but for real. I don't know what consequences there'd be if the teachers found out you broke into a cabin. Just let this be my problem. As long as Tyler doesn't catch me by surprise and can't make it seem like I beat him up again, we'll both be fine. How will they prove to the teachers we were in there? They're not gonna tell them they took your bag in the first place and nothing else is missing. We'll be fine. Ugh. I just wish the floor wasn't so goddamn money. And I think the rain was heavy enough to turn all fours into one big swamp. It'll take forever to clean these damn shoes. Oh, jeez. I got you, Tinkerbell. No worries. Ugh. What's with you? almost falling, huh? You get such weak knees around me? <laughs> I'm kidding. Don't push me. I'm not trying to fall either. If I get all muddy, I'll make sure you'll need a change of clothes as well. For real, though. Clumsy. It's almost a little sweet. I'll be honest with you. I didn't think this path would be so steep. And with all this goop, I don't know if we'll make it up there unscathed. Yeah, you're right. It probably be best just to wait it out. Tell you what. Let's stay where we are for a little while. If the race hasn't stopped in five minutes, we'll turn back around. Sound good? Alright. So long as there's no thunder, we should be good. Come stop a bit closer, Shorty. We're wet enough as it is. There's no need to get rained on even more. It's so cute how far you have to lift your head up to look at me. What? Nothing to say? No snarky comment? Not even trying to hit me? Ah! Ouch! Shouldn't have pointed that out. Got it. What? You're still hung up on that? 
you know, I kind of had to make you go in. I didn't even know what your back looked like. Though, I probably could have guessed, now that I see it. It does look like it belongs to a nerd. <laughs> Whatever. You got the more entertaining part of the job. I just had to wait for you to get done. So really, you should be thanking me. In fact, I think I'd like a reward. I did warn you at just the right time, didn't I? I also came up with a plan. And I made sure we were hidden. Come on, Tinkerbell. Not even a little one. Oh, um, I was thinking more something like this. <laughs> you know, I can get used to this. Take a bow. There you are. What starting to think that you had in your little cabin all day? What, you too embarrassed to see me after yesterday or something? I mean, not to brag, but I am a pretty good kick. Ah! Ow! Jeez, Tank. No need to be punching me in the ribs like that. Not like anyone's around to hear me anyway. Yeah, you're the last to get here. The others have already started that trail quite a while ago. Of course I waited. I came up with an excuse and everything. There's no way I'm letting you walk around by yourself. What? I wouldn't want you to run into any of those idiots. If they've noticed that your stuff is gone, they're pissed for sure. Nah, not taking that risk. If they want to mess with someone, it better be me. At least I know how to handle a fight. But, you know, while we're here, all alone, no one around, the old campsite to ourselves. You want another taste, shorty? Ow! Fuck! Got it! Got it! Not here, then. <laughs> Aw, look who's blushing all over. Not gonna lie, it kind of suits you. Getting flustered by the memories. The heavy rain, standing so close to me to fit under that umbrella, feeling my warm skin against yours in the cold wind, as you lean against my chest, thinking about it now, you are probably the romance inside, huh? Well, too bad you almost landed face first in mud right after. <laughs> sorry, sorry. I promise not to mention it, I know. Your shocked face is just too funny, though. You should be glad I caught you, short stuff. If I'm your personal bodyguard for much longer, maybe I should start charging a fee. <laughs> Seriously, though, I think we should get started on this hiking thing. You really took your sweet time. I think they're taking attendance at the end or something. I don't know. I only half listened, to be honest. I don't really feel like walking this entire trail. That's like, what, three fucking hours? And all just because they want us to walk around this big-ass lake? Nah, shorty. We're taking a shortcut. I'm serious. Look, it's not like we're going to go off the path. We're just going to take a different one. Come on. You know I won't change my mind on this. Let's get going already. I didn't disappoint last time, did I? I led you back to your cabin, perfectly on time for curfew, despite the rain and all. I told you my navigation skills are top notch. My dad used to take me hiking all the time. I know how to memorize directions pretty well. Though I gotta admit, I gladly miss curfew in exchange for making out some more. <laughs> joking, joking. I know you're not the type to be late and break rules. I bet you wouldn't know what to do if you ever got in the slightest trouble with teachers. I swear this totally isn't my fault. Rez dragged me into it. He's such a mean. <laughs> Nah, Tank, that is exactly what you sound like. I promise. Damn! Why are you trying to push me, nerd? Just so you know, barely felt the thing. You're so small, it's like a fly trying to hit me. Okay, okay, I get it. 
I might start pushing you if you don't quit acting like a brat. <laughs> oh, you don't believe me? Here, watch. <laughs> Didn't expect that to actually do it, huh? Well, lucky for you, I went easy on you. You see these arms, short stuff? I could pick you up no problem and throw you right into the lake if I wanted to. You should be glad I'm so nice. <laughs> Ouch. Hey, no need to push so hard all of a sudden. You want to fight? Because I let you know right now, you don't stand a chance. Right, right. Of course you'd beat my ass. No problem. Well, let's see about that then. Nah, I'm serious. Come on. Show me your best punch, Tank. Seriously? What was that? You scared you hurt me or something? Come on, show stuff. I'm not that fragile. Just do it properly. I mean, why not? If anything, it might help you against Tyler if I'm not around. So, might as well, right? Not that I don't want to help you, but let's just say my attendance doesn't really measure up to yours. But you said you want to fight, so let's do it. I promise, I'll hold back. Like, 99.9% .9 of my power. <laughs> no shit, shorty. I kind of noticed that you've got no clue what you're doing. <sighs> alright, alright. Let me give you a couple pointers then. First of all, you're standing all wrong. If your opponent won't knock you over, the wind will. Okay? Let's fix that. Put your right leg back a bit, like this. Looking better already. But, uh, do me a favor, Shorty. When you make a fist, do it like this instead. Okay? Keep your thumb out, don't tuck it in. I don't want you to break all your fingers. That usually ends a fight pretty quickly. And not in your favor. And then you swing like this. <laughs> Got it? Okay. Now... Hold your arms up like this. A little bit higher. You want to be able to block my punches. Ugh. I already told you I'm not going to actually hit you. Who do you think I am? Anyway, try again. And put some force behind it this time. Hell yeah, sure stuff. Now we're getting somewhere. Do it again. Come on. That's what I'm talking about. You're better than I thought, actually. I'm serious, Tank. You're not totally horrible at this. With some practice, you might even be good at it. Not that you're ever going to be better than me, obviously. <laughs> Don't even try. Ouch! Jesus! Me teaching you how to throw a punch was a mistake. If I'm all bruised up by the end of this trip, you're the one that gets to explain to my dad. He'll think I started a fight again. Oh, and, uh, by the way. Ha! <laughs> gotcha. See? I still got it. <laughs> Why are you backing away like that? Did I hit you too hard? Hey, watch out! There's a... You okay, Tank? That looked... painful. Shit, did you cut your leg on that rock? It's bleeding a bit. Hey, don't freak out. It's okay. It's okay. Can I take a look? I'll be careful. I promise. Alright. Hold on. <sighs> Doesn't look too bad. Thank God. It'll be fine. Fuck. Shorty. I'm so sorry. Seriously. I didn't mean for you to trip like that. I Did I hit you too hard or like... I swear, I was just playing. I, I don't know. Startled. Huh? I assume Tal has done that to you before then. Or one of his friends. I'm I'm sorry, Dick Bell. I didn't mean to bring back bad memories. I was just trying my best to forget about those fucking idiots for the day, actually. No, for real. I feel bad about it. I didn't mean to scare you. I'll make it up to you, okay? Not sure how, but I'll come up with something. I could carry up books for you, or like, 
by lunch or whatever? N no, not like a date. I mean, I mean, not that I don't want to, but I wouldn't have asked that right now. Asking someone out should be all romantic and shit, right? I can't just ask that right after you fell on your ass. It has to be under a nice cherry tree or at the stream, maybe. But anyway, that's not even important right now. What's important is that you feel all right, Tank. Hey, I don't have a soft side at all. I'm just being sincere for once, and this is how you reward me? Questioning my personality? <sighs> Alright, I see how it is. Couldn't have hurt that badly then, if you're giving me attitude already. Glad to see you're not mad at me, though. Do you think you could do the rest of the trail? I'm honestly tempted to just turn around and go straight back to camp. I bet if we show the teachers your horrific injuries and maybe you play up the limp a bit, we could get away with just chilling for the rest of the day. God damn it, Tank. Even when you've got a prime excuse to skip a boring ass hike, you still want to do it? Come on, tell me. What are you scared of? If they'll believe anyone, it's you. <sighs> Whatever. We'll decide later. We've got to wait for the bleeding to fully stop anyway, before we can keep walking. We don't want to make it worse by rushing it. Then again, I could just carry you. No, I'm serious. How about I just give you a little piggyback ride, huh? Will you take a look at the world from my perspective? A non-short point of view? <laughs> oh, come on, Tank. It'll be fun. No one's going to see, and even if they do, what's wrong with that? You're hurt. I might be an ass, but even if I wouldn't leave someone sitting in the dirt. It's really good manners, really. Believe it or not, I can carry you no problem. Can't win as many fights as I do without working out. <laughs> Did that convince you? Hell yeah, let's do this. I'll help you get up. Hop on, shorty. Ready when you are. Mm, there we go. Don't be shy. Put your arms around my neck. We don't want you to fall. <laughs> Alright. How does it feel being so far up? Pretty awesome, huh? Well, I'm glad you like it. Because it might take your mind off the fact that I just tricked you. Now that I picked you up, we're going wherever I want. And that means we're heading back to camp, baby! Nah, uh Not budging. Sorry, short stuff, but I've decided. So unless you want to walk the whole trail by yourself with a hurt leg, you'll have to act as my ticket to an afternoon off. Just enjoy the ride, Tinkerbell. 